How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into ranked once again and this time I'm using something that kind of betrays my morals because it's like a wallet dot deck. Uh, this deck is probably one of the most expensive decks I have ever played. And it is pretty crazy. It was used in the MCS tournament. I think I got uh, fifth place in that tournament, so it's pretty strong. Uh, the only thing is, you have to be lucky for this deck to work. And I am not lucky. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the deck, and I'll show you guys an instance of where... And, and a reoccurring instance of why this deck is just not working for me, but whatever. Let's go ahead and, and talk about it. So first we got Snipe Hunter. Snipe Hunter at 3. We're running 3 of pretty much everything, but we got Snipe Hunter at 3. This one is you discard a card and you get to destroy one of your opponent's uh, cards. Uh, if it rolls on a 1 or 6, that's a no-go. It's not going to pop it. If it rolls on anything else, a 2, 3, 4, or 5... You're good. You're all set. So you have a 66% chance of doing well and destroying their thing. But I fail like five times in a row. I'll get a one five times in a row. I don't know why. But it will happen. Uh, now we got Volcanic Rocket. Volcanic Rocket is in this deck because you summon it and you instantly add Blaze Accelerator. Uh, that's a plus one. So that's really, really good. Uh, so this is basically that. Also, if, if you need to, you can pitch this with uh, Snipe Hunter's effect. So there's a there's a little bit of synergy there. I like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, one Sphere Kuribo for that protection. Three Sergeant Electro for that back row prevention. It pins down their back row, and they can't do anything about it. I made a similar deck uh, using Snipe Hunter. When I just kind of made it on my own, I kind of gravitated towards running Snipe Hunter and Sergeant Electro because I felt like they would have a little bit of synergy together because Sergeant Electro locks up their back row, so you don't have to worry about it. You, you can just uh, pop everything else. Uh, we are also running Triple Volcanic Shell because this is a really good resource. Volcanic Shell is an amazing resource to use Snipe Hunter or to use Blaze Accelerator. Uh, you use uh, this guy's effect, you send one of these away, destroy one of their things, possibly destroy one of their things. If you fail or if, or if you do well, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can actually get this guy from the grave, pay 500, add another one from your deck to your hand. So you basically have one of these guys in hand and you could get three pops. You get three attempts at, at trying to destroy your opponent's back row. Early game when they have like one monster, one back row, that's pretty devastating. That could be pretty devastating. Oh, we're also running Switcheroo with Bandicoot. So when we do get that last one, we've already paid a thousand life points. So we can pretty much Switcheroo it, get whatever we want back, and then next turn thin our deck a little bit more. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Switcheroo is, is seeing some meta play again. That's awesome, dude. It's been a while since I've used Switcheroo. We also got Triple Floodgate. Floodgate's OP, dude. It's really good for shutting down their plays when they summon something big. It goes in face down defense, like a hazy flame or something. And then you pop it with Snipe Hunter when it's face down. Uh, so we got Mirror Wall at two. I'm only, I only have two copies of this. The most broken thing I could have done was actually spent a whole bunch of money trying to get my third Mirror Wall. That would have legitimately cemented this deck as a complete, like, perfect pay to win deck. And then last up, we got that Curse of Anubis because it's actually pretty good. There's a lot of plays you can use with this. It's a really good card. And that's pretty much it with the deck. I don't run a meme extra deck because this isn't a meme deck. This is a tried and tested try hard deck. This is a really, really good deck. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an instance where it, it just it just did not work for me. So let's go ahead and get that started. So it was a duel against Alexis Rhodes. I'm going to go ahead and try to speed through it as much as possible so you guys can see how insane it is but yeah it's alexis alexis using glad beasts so whatever i started off pretty well got that sergeant electro got that back row mirror wall pretty safe uh now here's where i realized oh they got they got glad beasts all right cool they're not attacking because they, they're pretty sure it's a mirror wall but we got that snipe hunter though so let's go ahead and start things off strong with that six i never get sixes remember i said uh, that's why i don't run last gamble because i never get those sixes dude all i get is ones but uh they got two monsters. We're going to go ahead and floodgate that second one just because I don't want them doing their shenanigans. Uh, so now we can do this. We got that Sergeant Electro. We're going to lock down their back row right now. At this point, we only have one locked. And this one can lock down the second one. So pretty good. I locked down both their back row, attacked their monster, and pretty we're doing, we're doing all right. If they attack, they're screwed. For whatever reason, they're running Alexander, which is not a good idea, but whatever. Uh, so here I drew my Volcanic Shell. This is awesome. It means infinite pitches. All right, let's that's two two ones or whatever two bad rolls in a row fair enough but we do have more volcanic shells so let's go ahead and use it again 
but this time we're gonna go ahead and lock up the electros and lock up everything so all right here's our, our third attempt another six get wrecked all right so that's three in a row three fails in a row that is already pretty hard to do i mean you have to that's some pretty bad odds but we actually drew into that uh that volcanic shell so that's annoying and then we got another one we got another one, dude. I think that's like four. I think we get a total of five in a row. Spoilers, dude. Spoilers. But whatever. We got a Demakari on the field just kind of standing there. All right. We're going to keep using Snipe Hunter. We're going to try to get over it. And, and no, we got a six again. That's five in a row. That is legit five fails in a row. That's pretty crazy. And they got three monsters. They're going into one of their big boys. That's fine. They got this guy. I'm going to go ahead and use Mirror Wall before they attack. Because that's my smartest move. Now, I have one last shot. We got a chance to, to protect ourselves and to potentially kill it. So let's see if we got it. And finally it works. After five tries. And we get that game. And th this is a pretty intense game. Because I was legit mad. I was, I was tilted. I was very mad. But yeah, I was legit mad. It was, it was just too much to deal with but whatever let's go ahead and just jump right into ranked and let's see how we do today all right who's first let's see we got checker 2013 i'm also in plat four i did use this deck to try to uh, rise in rank a bit but some duels i just can't dude i can't my luck is just too bad it's just i keep getting ones dude and, and i feel like I, I got like this debt where like i got so many ones oh man you already started off bad uh, you, you don't want to draw Blaze Accelerator. Alright, so. And we got Blaze Accelerator and double these guys, so that's not a very strong hand. If they have all their stuff, it's going to be annoying because Umi makes me weaker. So that kind of sucks. Uh, that could be a uh, Yomi ship or something, but we got that Floodgate, which is pretty nice as well. I'm going to go ahead and set that. I'm going to set this. And I think at this point, I might as well summon this guy in attack. Like, I'm, I have issues with this deck where I just dead draw, dude. Uh, like I was saying earlier, Umi does kind of wreck me because it makes me a little bit weaker. So let's hope it's not something that we're just going to regret attacking. But let's see if it's like a Yomi ship or something. It's not. It's that thing. All right, cool. Uh, meaning Aurora Wing keeps coming back, I think. So that's fine. Uh, all right. So here's the thing. Now, they can go ahead and do their stuff. I don't know what they're going to do, but whatever. Uh, I am trying to potentially reach Legend. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach King of Games. I tried last night and I got tilted because of uh, bad bad rolls, dude. Uh, it, feels, it feels very, very luck-based and it's just it's too hard, dude. But uh, I, I will probably try to reach King of Games in the next season. I'll, I'll probably just start off go early. I'll start off early. Oh man, my Electro's going to get wrecked by the Umi as well, dude. This is annoying. Alright, so I'm, I think I'm just going to go ahead and Electro to lock up the back row and at least we can try attacking stuff i don't know man i feel like electro against that face down might be interesting uh so let's definitely pin that card whatever it may be and maybe they might chain it they probably won't though you never know oh they did it's an econ you always chain them econs all right so they're probably gonna switch electro to defense yeah all right that's a pretty good move all right so now that electro is de in defense there's really no point in attacking Aurora Wing since we know we know what it does. We know it can come back. So let's go ahead and attack that face down and hope it's not a Yomi ship, which it might be. So it's a shark, dude. We're gonna clash. Why didn't you put an attack? Because you know I have Mirror Wall, dude. You know I have Mirror Wall. Alright. They probably know this deck, to be honest, since it's a pretty I think it's a pretty famous deck at this point. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm gonna try reaching King of Games and probably the next one because I, I realized I think tonight is the last night I have to pretty much do anything. So they got a tribute. Is Levia? Oh crap, it's Levia, dude. Let's go ahead and floodgate that. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Get floodgated. All right, 1700 defense. We got to keep that in mind, dude. We got to keep that in mind. 1700 defense is bad because we can't run it over. And I don't want to summon this guy because that, that will completely lock up my stuff. Uh, that will kind of make it to where I'm. it would be impossible for me to destroy their stuff. So. Uh, Volcanic Shell, though. I mean, I could Blaze Accelerator and start popping. But do I really need it right now? You know what? I might as well. I can't destroy anything else and I can't attack this turn. So, whatever. Let's go ahead and use it. Because this way, I mean, they still kind of... Had to give up most of their monsters to summon Levia. And then we get to pop it, so that's that's pretty advantageous, right? 
Alright, so, we can also do this, which is pretty good. So this guy, you pay 500, add him right back to your hand. How insane is it like that? We completely, like, we, we thought volcanics were just not good. We thought volcanics were garbage, and now, look at them pulling off all these crazy, crazy plays. So we got that mirror wall, so we're pretty safe. We cannot battle this turn. Uh, this card does not let us, so we can't deal damage. Uh, I think we can deal, we can enter battle phase, but we cannot attack, so that kind of sucks. But whatever. Let's see what our opponent has. I mean, we, we kind of shrek them, dude. Alright, it looks like it's about time for us to make a comeback. So, we got that another Electro. I think at this point, if I'm trying to cement that win, let's go ahead and activate this guy again. I would really like to draw a uh, Snipe Hunter. I really would. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is activate that Switcheroo. Remember, we just added one of these guys to hand. We basically plus one with this. So, we're going to put it back. It's kind of like Venus all over again. And we drew the Snipe Hunter. Perfect, dude. Perfect. So, we're going to go ahead and summon this guy. And just to kind of test out my luck, just to test it, dude, I'm going to start popping that Umi. I need to test it, dude. I need to test it. What are my rolls looking like? I, I think I'm going to get good rolls. What do you guys think? Four? That's pretty good. All right, so, yeah, we win. We did okay on our first match. Not bad at all. All right. And I did hear a lot of you guys saying that you like Floodgate Chan. I might be bringing her back eventually. I don't know. She's not in this deck. She's not in this deck. I don't know how she would feel about a tryhard meta deck. <laughs> whatever. So she's not really a tryhard meta card. But whatever. Oh, maybe in the future. But you never know. All right, so we got our first win. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the next game. <laughs> All right, so we're back, and it looks like I'm a bit too late. <laughs> I just got reset, dude. I've been playing all day, and I just got reset to gold. That was the last duel. Oh, man. All right, so I guess we're going to try to make it to platinum. All right, guys, go ahead and just jump right in again. Dude, these gold players are in for a surprise. All right, we got Mastrek Dem and gold rank one. Dude, I'm gold four. I am sorry, Seto. I am sorry, but I think this deck is a little bit too much for you, dude. Gold one? I mean, I get it. Everybody that was in plat is now in gold. And But this guy was in plat one, so... I don't know, his deck might be good. You never know, right? Uh, but let's see, he's got mountains. <laughs> All right, so we already have... A pretty good hand because of these two and we got we got this guy for protection so that's okay uh, we also have that rocket so we can add a what's this, what's nuts to hand so a plus one which is pretty good uh, but he's got that set all right fair enough two sets three sets all right I think that's a snipe hunter situation dude but we got the electro we got that electro dude all right what do I feel like it is I feel like it's gonna be something kind of annoying so I would like to test out my Snipe Hunter shenanigans. Let's go ahead and try it out. So Snipe Hunter is here, and you know what? We're gonna we're gonna bring out Floodgate Chan for luck. Cause I feel like she, hopefully she influences my luck. So get out here, Floodgate Chan. How are you doing tonight? Uh, all right then. All right, so let's see. We got that Snipe Hunter. Let's go ahead and use our first resource, which is that volcanic shell. We don't want to draw anymore, dude. Uh, we're gonna. Get rid of that face down, so, uh, defense position monster. And four. All right, looking pretty good. Thanks for to, uh, to Floodgate Chan, dude. Uh, he's got an Ichizura. <laughs> no, dude. Get wrecked. All right, so fair enough. We still get to recover this thing. All right, dude, I think Michizura is going to see some play. If this deck becomes extremely meta-relevant, Michizure should should see play, but if they do hit the Michizure, then maybe not so much, but whatever. I think that's all we have for this turn. We kind of danked out. Wait, what monster did we destroy, by the way? What did we hit? Oh, yeah, it was Andal. Yeah, it was An Andal, or Andal, but whatever. They got another face down. Do they have more monsters, though? Yes, they do. All right. So, 1800. Oh, no. That one completely shreks me, dude. I think I'm... Mm, I think... Jeez, dude. Yes. Because I feel like he's going to have a mirror wall. If he does have mirror wall, this guy's going to still get through. Probably. Alright. And we got a mirror wall now. Alright, cool. Alright, so... One thing I can try right now is... 
I'm gonna go ahead and activate this guy's effect just so I don't draw any more of them. And I think now that we paid a thousand, we could switch a route. So let's go ahead and switch Rue it up. Let's see if we can actually get more snipe hunters. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got obviously got some kind of response, but let's go ahead and switch Rue it up. Uh, oh man, stop making fun of me, Fl Floodgate Chan. All right, so now we got another Electro. I mean, okay, fair enough. I don't think this is going to be that useful, but it can work if we activate it preemptively. So there is that. I'm considering just summoning this guy, to be honest, because we do get to pretty much add this to hand. And if we need to, we can activate it. So that's not bad. That's not bad. So we, we can pop one thing if we really need to. But I would like to save that for like maybe a, a really threatening card, like a, I don't know, blue eyes or something. I feel like he's going to have blue eyes. So let's go ahead and attack. See if he stops it. If he's got an econ, he most likely does. It's probably going to be the middle one. Is it going to be middle? Is it going to be middle econ? Help me, Floodgate Chan. All right. And we got a connection error. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Let's... Ugh, dude, this is why I don't play on PC. This is why I can't play on PC. I get these disconnects, which I cannot prevent. Like, I am working on getting a wired connection for my PC. I cannot rely on, on Wi-Fi, dude. I really can't. But whatever. Screw it. Next game. I feel like we're just having DC problems. Yep, that's definitely a DC. All right, so we got two losses. Two losses in gold, dude. What am I, scrub player? How am I so bad with this meta deck? I think we're getting disconnected again, so I think we're going down. I think we're going down a rank already. Dude, I am I am trying to fix my internet. I, I've been trying so hard to fix it. I am in the process of moving a whole bunch of wires, so I might end up messing something up and completely lose internet for the next few days. <laughs> I might end up doing that, so if I stop uploading, there's a reason. Alright, we got disconnected. Fair enough. <laughs> oh no, we're right down. <laughs> How do you rig down in gold? How ironic is that I have like this OP meta deck and I can't win in gold. <laughs> I can't win, dude. Floodgate Chan, no! Alright. Another duel, dude. Another duel. Alright, so we got gold rank one. Uh, Japanese player. Alright, I think that was Ri. Ri, maybe. Uh, I don't know. We got a Seto Kaiba. Hopefully, we don't DC again, dude, because I want to rank up. I don't want to make this any more, any harder on me than it should be, dude. All right. I want to reach key games in sub point, dude. I really do. It's just this internet's impossible, dude. All right, but whatever. Uh, this hand is pretty mediocre. I mean, we do have the electro. They are setting back row, meaning it's important. Oh, we got, we got this, dude. We got this. All right. Ah, oh, breaking with these shells, dude. We're breaking with these shells, dude. We got an electro. They're going to chain whatever they're going to chain real quick. Alright, they didn't do anything. So, they're probably going for the smart play. They probably have an Econ somewhere back there. So, we're going to go ahead and activate Electro and try to not hit that Econ. I think we're going to go for the one closest to the deck. I've been having really good luck with the one closest to the deck. But one thing is... Yep. Hazy Glory! No, dude! <laughs> no, we're not prepared for Hazy's! We are not prepared for Hazy's, dude. They're probably both really annoying. They're probably it's probably a Beast Rising and um, Hazy Glory, so we can at least hit them, unless it's an Econ. Oh uh, yeah, I I'm pretty sure it's a it's a Beast Rising. All right, so we could lose right here. I mean, they can they can try to summon a monster. They could do some shenanigans. They can try to hit me, and they'll run into a mirror wall. Yeah, I knew this was happening. All right, let's see if we can actually take out Hazy's in gold, dude. Freaking gold. Is this where all the Hazy's are, dude? I was not. I have not played this uh, against a single Hazy. Uh, they picked the monster, but they went for beatdown. I think they're gonna dank out right now. I think they're gonna dank out. All right, we're definitely mirror walling that. Mirror wall it up. You don't want them to have multiple monsters. It, it's it's terrible if they do. All right, so get wrecked, dude. Get wrecked. That's what you get. And now I can I can bounce back, dude. I can go for the Karibo. No way. Oh, we got the Electro, dude. All right, fair enough. All right, so... Yes. You know what? Screw it. We're paying for the Mirror Wall just because I want to activate Switcheroo real quick. I want to activate Switcheroo. Put one of these, one of these guys back. 
Let's draw something better. Snipe Hunter, there you go. Alright, so I can Snipe Hunter and blow up their stuff. That would be pretty cool. Um, and actually, I might. Actually, I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna see what that back row is. I'm pretty sure it's in a, it's a Beast Rising. Alright, so I think my opponent's quitting on this one. Alright, that's, that's, I'll take it, dude. I'll take an opponent DC or quit. I think they just quit. They're like, nope, I, I lost. They're gonna blow up my stuff. They're gonna lock down my stuff. I lose either way. So, that was it. Get wrecked, dude. I wanna do one more game. This time I don't wanna mess up. So let's go ahead and just do one more game real quick. Alright. Watch out, guys. Best player coming through. We got Sliver over here in gold rank 1 from Egypt. Using Joey Wheeler. The thing is, I've been out of gold for so long that I have no idea what decks they're using. But they are on a winning streak, so it could very well be 6 Sams or something. Um, I know they have dialogue, but whatever. Alright, so we got these two. That's awesome. We had to draw the Blaze Accelerator, though. That kind of sucks. And they just have one, dude. All right, come on. Draw. Oh, and the Sergeant Electro. I kind of like that more, to be honest. I like that more. I'd rather go for a Sergeant Electro and just quick lockdown. Or, yeah, it's not it's not a floodgate. So we're going to pin that down real quick. <laughs> get wrecked. All right, so that was pretty quick. That was pretty easy. Now we get to a free strike to his face. Uh, I wonder what he's playing. Like, I legit wonder. I Like I said, I've been out of gold for a while. I don't know if this is a person that was in plat and dropped to gold, or just a legit gold player, dude. Because I get the feeling there's a lot of gold players. But yeah, I was at the point where I was in, like, high plat, and I was, I was dueling so often that I was playing the same people multiple times. And I was... Oh, you're kidding me, dude. <laughs> you're kidding me, dude. Alright, fair enough. I think we still got this game in the bag. Let's go ahead and summon that Snipe Hunter. Easy, dude. Easy. I'm not even going to blow up your stuff. I'm not even going to blow it up. I'm just going to attack. Is there a Karibo in hand? No, there isn't. Oh, they just, they just DC, dude. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, let, me, let me get through. Let me get through. Bloodgate Chan, help me. Help me attack them. I can't make her do anything. All right. I got him. I got him, guys. All right, so... That was pretty quick. Sooner or later, dude, we'll get out of gold. But whatever, that's pretty much it for today. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more dueling shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you guys.